Released in November 1996, Space Jam became an instant classic sports movie, not to mention a millennial cultural touchstone. It took a long time to get a sequel off the ground, but it's finally on its way, hitting theaters and HBO Max in July 2021. Here's everything you need to know about Space Jam A New Legacy. The first Space Jam employed a fairly standard, if bizarre high-stakes, science fiction plotline, with the addition of basketball. After the classic Looney Tunes characters were kidnapped by alien creatures called the Nerd Lugs to be attractions at a theme park in space, Bugs Bunny recruited Michael Jordan and challenged the villains, who stole the powers of NBA stars, to a basketball game. If they lose, they'd remain captives. What about we raise the stakes a little bit? The plot of A New Legacy suggests it's not a direct sequel, but an updating and reimagining of the first movie's story and themes. This time, the movie centers on the present day's most dominant basketball player, LeBron James, as he and his son get trapped in the digital world by an evil artificial intelligence program. In order to win freedom for himself and Dom, James has to train, lead, and play alongside all those goofy Looney Tune cartoon characters, including Bugs Bunny, Lola Bunny, and Daffy Duck. Standing in their way, impossibly tough basketball superhero monsters and robots based on real-life NBA stars, including James' own teammates and friends. The original Space Jam not only deftly mixed live action with animation, but it also combined a cast of acting neophyte athletes with veteran comic performers. On the jock side, Space Jam starred Michael Jordan, of course, with appearances from Charles Barkley and Larry Bird while Bill Murray and Wayne Knight, aka Newman from Seinfeld, represented the funny side. Space Jam 2 will take a similar approach. Star LeBron James is also producing the movie via his company, Spring Hill Entertainment. In March 2019, Sonequa Martin-Green of Star Trek Discovery and The Walking Dead joined the cast, set to play James's wife. Oscar and Emmy-nominated actor Don Cheadle will play the villain, a computer algorithm named Algae Rhythm. The younger cast of the film includes Harper Lee Alexander as James' daughter and Cedric Joe as the basketball star's youngest son, whose kidnapping fuels the plot of the movie. Many longtime Looney Tunes voice actors worked on Space Jam A New Legacy, but there are also fresh voices. Comedian Gabriel Iglesias is set to portray Speedy Gonzalez, while Emmy-winning Euphoria star Zendaya will play Lola Bunny. If Space Jam A New Legacy is anything like the first Space Jam from 1996, it's going to feature a lot of interstellar basketball. The previous film included some of Jordan's contemporaries, and A New Legacy looks to follow a similar approach with big stars of the present day. Some NBA and WNBA stars will portray themselves as the Goon Squad, super-powered hybrid monsters competing against James. Okay, let's analyze the competition. Anthony Davis plays a birdman named The Brow, while Damian Lillard is Kronos, a golden robot with clock parts. WNBA talents Diana Taurasi and Neka Ogumake will voice the Serpentine White Mamba and Spider-like Arachnica, respectively. And Clay Thompson is Wet Fire, who can harness the powers of water and flame. A new legacy will include other basketball world cameos as well, including brief appearances from players Kyrie Irving, Chris Paul, and Draymond Green, as well as inside the NBA host Ernie Johnson embodying a play-by-play -play commentator. Also, perhaps to bridge the two Space Jam films, one more basketball-playing superstar might be in the new legacy cast. Don Cheadle told Access Hollywood in May, Michael Jordan is in the movie, but not in the way you'd expect. Warner Brothers and LeBron James's production company, Spring Hill Entertainment, announced in September 2018 that Space Jam 2 was actually officially happening. As the film is set to feature a number of basketball stars, it couldn't shoot much during the NBA season, which means it took a while for Space Jam A New Legacy to arrive. In February 2019, Spring Hill tweeted out some concept art for the movie, James alongside Bugs and Lola Bunny, as well as a release date. July 16th, 2021. That date may have numerical significance. Per sports reporter Rob Perez, July is the seventh month of the year, and if that seven is added to the 16, it makes 23. That's the longtime jersey number worn by both Space Jam stars Michael Jordan and LeBron James. Unlike dozens of other major films, the release date for A New Legacy was unaffected by coronavirus-related theater closures. But the method in which it will reach the public will be different. In December 2020, Warner Brothers announced that while it would screen its big 2021 movies in theaters, it would simultaneously release them on the streaming service HBO Max for a period of 30 days. That mid-July date will also fall during or immediately following the 2021 NBA playoffs, making for a fortuitous promotional opportunity. 
As of May 2016, Fast and Furious 6 director Justin Lin looked to be the frontrunner to helm Space Jam 2, but that didn't quite happen. In September 2018, The Hollywood Reporter broke the news that the sequel would be Ryan Coogler's first movie after his directorial blockbuster Triumph of Black Panther, but as a producer. Handling directorial duties, Terence Nance an indie darling and experimental filmmaker animator responsible for the movie The Oversimplification of Her Beauty and the HBO series Random Acts of Flyness. A few months later, Nance was out and Malcolm D. Lim was in. According to The Wrap, the director of the hit comedies Night School and Girls Trip worked from a script with multiple credited screenwriters, not counting the four men who'd written the original Space Jam upon which several of the new film's characters are based. Among those who took a pass at the script, Creed II screenwriter Jewel Taylor, Keenan Kugler, Ryan Kugler's brother and writer of the upcoming Creed 3, and Terence Nance. Space Jam A New Legacy is all about mixtures. It's partially animated and partially live action. It features LeBron James playing basketball against animal-human hybrids, and it incorporates familiar characters from multiple franchises. Warner Brothers produced and distributed Space Jam A New Legacy and that company falls under a large corporate umbrella that also includes its premiere day streaming home of HBO Max and the Looney Tunes characters prominently featured in the movie. Warner's also had writers and producers insert a lot of its intellectual property into the Space Jam sequel, creating a vast, interconnected cinematic universe. The plot of the film legitimately explains it all. James and his son become stuck in the serververse, a cloud storage space where every movie, character, and TV show under Warner Brothers' control resides. This allows James to commune with the tornado from the 1939 film version of The Wizard of Oz, the violent street criminals from A Clockwork Orange, characters from HBO's Game of Thrones, Yogi Bear, The Iron Giant, and many more, including Pennywise the Clown, Space Ghost, and one of the Thundercats. Well, that happened. <laughs> While those are surprising additions, Space Jam A New Legacy will not include a character from the original Space Jam, the famously lascivious skunk Pepe Le Pew. His originally scripted scene in which he reports that the object of his affection took out a restraining order has been cut over concerns that it was too problematic. The original Space Jam was a multi-format smash. Not only did the film earn $90.4 million at the North American box office, but the accompanying soundtrack album sold 6 million copies thanks to top 10 singles from Seal, R. Kelly, and Monica. Lou Legacy will also promote itself musically with a soundtrack full of major contemporary and breaking artists, set for release a week before the film officially opens. Hip-hop superstars Lil Baby, 24K Golden, Chance the Rapper, Lil Uzi Vert, and Brock Hampton contributed songs as did the Jonas Brothers, soul singers John Legend and Leon Bridges, and Hamilton and In the Heights breakout Anthony Ramos. The soundtrack also features About That Time, a collaboration between White Dave, P-Lo, g Easy, and Dame Dollar, the latter of which is a hip-hop alter ego of NBA All-Star and Space Jam A New Legacy cast member Damian Lillard. Fans of the original Space Jam anticipating a trailer for the long-awaited, much-delayed sequel almost got to see a teaser for the movie way back in July 2018. Just after the end of the NBA season, the hottest story in basketball was, where will LeBron James play in 2018-2019? According to Brandon Robinson of Basketball Society, James planned to announce his new team via the then-new Instagram TV video platform. Then, almost immediately after, James would use the service to drop a trailer of some kind for the still-untitled Space Jam 2. King James did go ahead and disclose his movie to the Los Angeles Lakers, but no trailer emerged. Instead, rumors have since swelled that the secret teaser existed, but was held back at the last minute and will likely never see the light of day. What happened? Basketball Society reported that James and his management decided against posting the teaser because of that premature leak of the news. A source who worked on the movie told Robinson that the trailer ended with James wearing a Lakers uniform, basically making the teaser an announcement of his move to LA. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.